Hey guys, what's going on? Daryl Addison at TorpedoPot.com. Daryl Addison at TorpedoPot.com. And we make self-growing planters like the ones you see behind me in front of me. They grow your food and your plants without you having to be there. We thought this would be a great time for us to go over our onions and our zinnias, how we place them together with even a uh, strawberry here, and how this has been growing by itself without my intervention at all. In each one of these planters, we must have placed about 75 uh, bulbs, miniature small bulbs, of the uh, red onions, 75 of the yellow onions, and 75 of the white onions. So we have all three onions being placed and they're running in their own planter. We, we planted them about the same time. Uh, this came from a standard onion pack that we normally get every year. And we wanted to see how productive the bulbs were. Now, the red onion, and we love, everybody loves red onion. It's a little slower getting out the ground. It's a little difficult. We expect to see 75 shoots in this planter. Uh, the yellow onion is looking really great. It's taller than the rest of them. It grew pretty, pretty fast. And I'm thinking this is ready for harvest. Now, is it 75 in there? That's what we have to check and find out. And then we have the white. And the white onion is just behind the yellow onion, but it looks very good. Notice the stalks are not thick. They're not as densely thick as the, uh, as the yellow onions are. They're smaller, they're more thinner, they're more grander. These are more grander and they're just bigger. They just look more succulent and they have more everything in it. So yellow onions look best overall. Fastest growing is definitely the yellow onions. The white is second place and then we have the red. These are torpedo pods. These planters grow your food for you with no human intervention. <clears throat> All I did is put my onions in these planters and I don't water, I don't do anything. All I do is fertilize when I come around to, to get myself to fertilize these plants. And they've been running by themselves. So now what I wanna do is that, because I see the fullness of this <clears throat> yellow onion, let's count. The bulb set said that there were 75 onions in the pack. So let's do a count to see if there really were 75 of them coming to life and, and starting to produce these, these, these branching and leaves. Let's find out, let's do a count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, two, two, three, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 3, 34, 35, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 42, 43, 44, 45, 6, 7, 8, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. Wow, man, dude, everything came up. The winner is the yellow onion. Everything came up, and it is beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. And then we have the white onion. You see how we did, okay? You ready? These are self, these are torpedo pots. <coughs> <coughs> These torpedo pods grow your onions for you. We grew red onions, we grew yellow onions, and we grew white onions. All we did was put our onions, cover them up with soil, turn the torpedo pot on, the knobs in the torpedo pot, and it grew my, my onions for me. <coughs> now let's count the white onions, see how many they are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24, 25, 26, 27, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 50, 51, 50. It's about 60 bulbs, and there's still more that's coming up. So just give it a little more time. There's 60. And of course, of the <clears throat> red onion, which I love my red onion. Uh, we're looking at about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, about 50 total of the red now I don't know if it's delaying coming out I see some still coming up but still I'm doing a count and it's not so the winner of the bunch of all of these self-growing planters we tested all three of these onions we expect them to have a great germination rate we, we expect them to have a hundred percent growth rate and we're saying that either they're late in growing because some are, are like more hotter climates and some like more cooler climates but nevertheless for our Jumping out start early, I expect this red to come out and give you the amount of onions that you need. <clears throat> Again, Daryl Addison, TorpedoPot.com. 
where we make self-growing planters that literally grow your food for you. You don't have to do anything. All I did and all these planters you see behind me was simply drop seeds in. I don't have to water. I don't have to take care of these planters at all. I don't do anything. So let's, I came out today to pick me some onions. Now, I want to go with go uh, a walkthrough about what we look for when we're picking onions. Now, a lot of you, when you go to the store, um, you want a red onion. You want a yellow onion. You want a white onion. And you go grab those onions to cook it down, and it's gone. Well, I like that approach because that approach is great, and it works in a torpedo pot. But I'd like to share with you a different approach. <clears throat> How about if we have an onion that's growing? And we're constantly eating off the leaves and watching it grow back over and over again so we can feed ourselves. And then not cutting it all the way down to the last bit of growth, but just the tall growth going all the way around so we can all constantly eat and watch it grow back. That means I'll continually have at least some sort of, of onion tops to eat. And then at the end of the season, I could probably harvest the bulbs, store them like you would normally do an onion. I don't know. I'm going to find this out. And then you reuse them over and over and over again. <clears throat> that way you have the bulb continually. At least that's what they do to some onions, how they store them so that they can sit over the uh, over the winter time and they can come out with strong vigor. With that being said, <clears throat> I'm, I came to collect some onions. And so I'd like you to be with me when I do it. Alrighty now, so let's give this a try. I hate, you know I hate cutting my plants, but I love it because they're so delicious and tender. And so I know whatever they have to give me is going to be really great. Let's try one. There's a really nice tall one right here. Let's cut this one out. Give us a try. How about we do that? Mmm. Mmm. I like it. It has a natural onion taste to it. Wow, the yellow onion has a natural onion taste to it. I want to try the uh, red onions. These are torpedo pots. We just simply took 75 onions and put them in each planter. And they're growing on their own. We're seeing now that the yellow onion seems to be the most uh, prolific and the fastest growing at this point. And the white onion and the uh, red onion are behind a little bit. So what we're doing is that we're just simply tasting these onions because we grew them in self-growing planters. We don't have to water these or do anything at all. So let's try this. I'm going to try the red onion. Try that one. Wow. I never knew there were difference in onion taste like this. This is amazing. Wow. Yellow onion has a straight pungent taste right in front of your face. The red onion just tastes more relaxed. Very interesting. Very calm. Very soothing. Let's try the white onion. Wow. White onion is like a, wow, it's right, great. Mm. Very good for spicing. Oh my God, great for spicing. But it has a um, very spicy taste to it. Spicy. It's amazing. Wow, amazing. Well, this is an onion taste, so I'm going to now proceed to cut some of these onions down. Now, let me pull the bulb out to let you know how to, I don't want to sacrifice any of my onions, but I'm going to sacrifice it for you guys. Trust me, I don't like sacrificing my food. But when you pull a plant out, let's say, for instance, you were setting up the torpedo pot. Remember I told you to just drop your onions in, cover them up, turn your torpedo pot on, and it waters your food for you? It grows your food for you? That's what's going on right here. My torpedo pot does all the growing for me. So when I take an onion out, I'm going to try to pull it out, okay? See, I'm moving the table. See how strong that root is in it? In it? I'm moving the whole table with that, with that one onion. So I better not pop it off. Let me just dig a little bit deeper and see what it does. Because this, oh, my root system is amazing. Oh my gosh, this, ooh, look at this root system, man. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh, this is deep. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, look at this. I'm disturbing more than one. Oh no, I want to do something wrong here. All right, let's try it. Oh, take a look at that root system. <clears throat> I want you to take a look at that. That root system, isn't that amazing? 
That's amazing. That's what it looks like. You see this onion? That was just the shell. This is the real onion right here. See it growing in the nose right there? All this falls right on off. It just slipped right on through there and fell right on off. It's an amazing plant. It's an amazing plant. So that's what we're doing. The layers that you see on the outside of this onion here, or with the hole, represents the amount of, in some degree, the amount of uh, foil that you have at top. So I'm looking at three, four layers at the most for this onion. I don't know. Let's find out. Can't hurt to find out. There's one. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? You see two inside of it? Isn't that beautiful? Yes, it is. Boy, I tell you, it's amazing, isn't it? So Peter Pie grows your food like nothing else in the world. All you do is take your plants and put it in these planters behind you, and they grow your food. And that's what you see behind you. Torpedo pot growing food 24 hours a day. All you do is take your onions, put them in a planter, and this is what happens. Look at the health of that root system. Isn't that amazing? When you're growing in a biotic environment where you have healthy root systems like that, there's nothing you can't do. That's why torpedo pot can grow any and everything. Talk to you guys later. So now that I've shown you my wares and uncovered my clothing, I've got to wash it off and eat it. And so that's what I'm going to do. In the meantime, let's cut some more of these down and get some fresh food. Now, I'm going to take this plant that you just see me take out of there. These are torpedo pots now. They grow your food and your plants for you. So I just harvested a plant that I made a mistake and I don't need it anymore. I thought I wanted to eat it and I don't want to eat it. I just want to eat the tops. So guess what I do? Curl the root system up, if you can. And these are fibrous root systems. What do you see the root system in this plant? Because torpedo pot creates a, because torpedo pot creates a biotic environment for your plants, you get healthy root systems like these. These aren't cheap root systems. These are pretty strong root systems, all right? And that's what you want. You want strong root systems, not some rinky dinky stuff. These things, these root systems are alive. They've been in the soil. Look how clean they are. You just pull them right on out and they slid right on out of there. Aren't they gorgeous? Isn't that beautiful? They're picking up all the life of that plant and they, I wish you could see them up close under a microscope. I think you really would love and appreciate and see them. It's amazing. But this is what's growing my next, uh, growing my food. This live environment, biotic environment. And that's what torpedo pot does. Torpedo pot creates an environment in the planter that grows your food for you so you don't have to grow up yourself. This right here is, man, I don't need to say anymore. Get your nutrition. Take care of yourself. Gal Radisson, torpedopot.com. So I'm going to take this and put it aside. I got to rinse that off. I'm going to cut down the rest of these. All right, now I'm not... Oh, I forgot I would tell you how to cut them down. When you cut your onions, I I don't mind you cutting this leaf off and this leaf off. That's not a problem. But don't cut that middle one, okay? Let that middle one live. Because when you cut these off for food, you'll see that next layer forming on that onion, okay? <clears throat> so when I cut them down, I'm going to be very cautious and careful. All right, so let's see, you got four, one, two, three, four. You got a third one coming up there? Nope. We'll take all three of you. So I'll take everything besides the leader. That one last leader, I'll save it on there. I don't want it. Yeah, so I'll cut above it. These are so young at this point, I'm just going to cut them all down. But they're still very young. They'll come back, they're tender. Now, Oops, falling on the ground. 
not good. Well, the question is, do, do I need this much for food? Think about the meal that you're making. So if this little handful can go on whatever dish I make, my eggs or whatever grains that you make, and you want to just eat it fresh, you cut them, you put them in there, this is very healthy. And I want you to see what they look like. First, I want you to understand that there are no blemishes on any of these. There are no inset attacks. There's nothing on any of these that will make them unworthy to eat. Torpedo pot grows your food. Those planters behind you, they grow your food with no human intervention. All you do is drop your seeds or your seedlings in a planter and you walk away. And guess what? I fertilize as needed. I don't have to do the work anymore in the ground because it's polluted. So I'll take this a little bit right now. Really is all I need. And uh, I'm ready to go. So I gave you a rundown on the onions. Um, these are decorative onions for you guys. I want you guys to see what's going on so you can make your own gauge. I have a little plant on the side that's going, I think it's about 150, 300, maybe 225 onions. And I'm gonna go cut them down if I need them. If I don't, I'm not gonna touch them. Why? Because your food will stay on your, in your planter for as long as you allow it. Remember, it's alive. Food doesn't die like you see when you leave it on the counter. That's not how food dies. When it's in the environment, it ages, but it doesn't die. It ages, just like we do. At the end of his life expectancy, it produces seed and foliage that carries on. So the genetic inheritance continues on with that plant. Torpedo pot grows plants better than anything you've ever seen before. Trust Torpedo pot, it'll get you there. And grow your plants like I have these growing behind me. I have about these planters right here. I have 100 Torpedo pots at this location. I'm watering 100 torpedo pots from one water source. If I'm able to put 225 to 300 onions in one planter and I have 100 of them, that's going to be a lot of onion top. That's like, that's big business. Dara Addison, torpedopot.com. Self-watering planters, grows your food. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.